Thank you for joining us around town. I'm Carrie Ann Worley with Douglas Elliman, and today we're at Checkers Old Munchen with Matthew Moore. My name is Matthew Moore. I own Checkers Old Munchen German Restaurant in Papano Beach, 2209 East Atlantic Boulevard, and we have been here since 1982. So, I'm from Detroit originally. I grew up there, uh, went to Western Michigan University, where I studied criminal justice. Uh, while I was in school, I was actually a server at a rib place, sports restaurant, bar type place. So, I waited on tables, managed it, and um, I graduated. And then, after I graduated, um, I moved down to Florida in 2000. So, when I first moved down here, I was, I was for accounting and finance professionals. I did that for about eight years, did pretty well, and then I bought Checkers Old Munchin from my brother actually. So he had two restaurants. He didn't want to have two, it's too much work. He was going to sell Checkers, and I'm like, I'll buy it for you. So I think the first thing people notice when they walk in is the ambiance. Um, you notice the beer steins on the wall. We have over 500 different beer steins. Um, people feel cozy, comfortable, kind of takes them back to Germany, has that Bavarian feel to it. We're um, authentic German food, and uh, we have over 30 different German beers. Um, so that's more than any restaurant in South Florida. One of the other things we do is if you see the steins on the wall with the name plaques. We do a thing called the German um, beer tour, where every time you come in, you drink a different beer out of a boot. Once you finish all 30, uh, you get your name on the wall and you get your own beer stein. So you come on in, drink out of your own beer stein, and it's uh, everyone has a great time with it. I love Pompano just because of, I think the family, the family aspect and the togetherness. I think it's a good community. It's, it's a good mix. I think it's blue collar. It's um, white collar. It's um, low income, high income, middle class. It's, it's all those things. And I think it's a great mix. I think it's diverse. Um, great beach, uh, great weather friendly people, so I, I just love Pompano. Great place to uh, live in. So obviously the, the major thing is just the construction. You know, we're just growing so fast. And it's a good thing for the most part. Um, you can see the high rises go up. Um, you can see um, different buildings and, and things like that. New businesses moving in, new restaurants on the beach. Um, one of the things that they did maybe eight years ago is they redid Atlantic Boulevard right in front here and uh, they kind of redid all the storefronts for the businesses and uh, that was nice and gave them a good look to it and a, a good feel. So I just think we're, we're Pop Bell's booming, you know, it's growing. It's, it's a place to, to come. So. So yeah, we're really excited about it. Um, we're actually going to be knocking down a wall and we're expanding. There was a record store next to us and uh, I've since taken over that space and uh, we're going to be expanding and we're going to put a uh, cocktail lounge next door, have some specialty drinks and cocktails, kind of expand extra seating. Um, during the busy season, we get extremely busy, so we can always use the extra seating capacity. And um, also in the back, we put a beer garden up. Um, so we have an 800 square foot beer garden, seats 80 people. We can do private events there. Um, we have live music seven nights a week. So that's a whole nother animal to itself. So we're, we're real excited. I think what I'd like them to know is, you know, we've been here for a long time, since 1982. We've always been consistent. We have a great following. We, we have great customers, regulars. Um, you know, we have a saying here, you know, there are no strangers here, just friends you have not yet met. 
and I believe you'll do that. You can come in here once, I guarantee you'll come in again because you'll meet someone um, friendly, you'll have a good time, you'll have a good meal. Um, our servers have been here for 10 years, our chefs have been here as long as I've been here. Um, we employ 20 people, all live here locally, work hard. And so not only are you supporting the restaurant, but you're supporting everyone that works here. And, you know, and as we grow, you know, we, we love to see the support from the community. I think the first thing you, you definitely need is a vision, an idea of what you want. Once you have that, that vision, go ahead and, and start planning. It's not easy, but it's doable. You know, there's so many things you have to do as far as getting permits from the city, getting business licenses. Um, you know, all of those take time to do, but if you prepare, save money, you know, it, it's doable. Um, there's resources here through, like the CRA that will help you out. Um, you know, other, you know, small business associations that will help you out. You just have to uh, find the right people to uh, work with. And, but yeah, it's a, it's a great city to do business. With everybody, where we can find you? Sure, you can find us on uh, the internet, sharkersoilmunchin.com, our website, Facebook, Instagram, Truth Social. We're all over the place. So come on in, check us out, and have a beer. Prost. Prost. If you already live here or you're looking to move into the area and want market information, please DM me at Carrie Ann Worley.